Mm. So we did a, a video a few months ago um, where um, Tiffany Montgomery yeah. basically said, if you go to a Beyonce concert, um, basically you're supporting demons or whatever, right? Yeah. So like you're entering a, a gate. I'm saying they're wrong, but you know, you, you get what portal. I'm saying. No, no, you're a portal. Yeah, you're right. That was right. And um, she got a lot of backlash from, you know, the Beehive because of that. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people seem to really gravitate towards our video. And I wasn't sure how she took all of the feedback, no. right? Yeah. So she was on a podcast called Social Proof, mm -hmm. um, which we're f funnily connected to. We yeah. know, we know um, Candace. Uh, Candace Richmond, who's uh, related to somebody that works with them, but mm -hmm. just so happened they had Tiffany Montgomery on. So this is what she said. Okay, you did say if you'll go to Beyonce's concert, I don't know if you didn't consign them to hell. I don't think you. Just no, say, no, I don't have a hell to put say, in one that right. you out of. You're just saying <laughs> it's demonic. Let's do it in context. Oh, let's do it. So I have a ministry God gifted me with called Covered by God. Okay. I got saved in my shower August 2015. Wild, sitting there Indian style, have an encounter, changed my life. So God gifted me with a ministry called Covered by God. It's a prophetic and teaching ministry. It's a fasting and praying ministry. Nothing has ever gone as viral as this whole thing with Beyonce, nor did I necessarily think it was at that moment because I was talking to one group of people. And I said, any of you that are going to Beyonce's concert, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Because mm. there was no, and you know what rebuke is? It's a sharp disapproval of something that you're doing. It means that you're going against the standard of Christ that you're living in. One thing I learned about being a Christian is, it's very simple, it's a marriage. As soon as you gave your life to Christ, you said, God, I want to marry you. Mm -hmm. And just like normal marriages, sometimes you have open marriages where the people like to be cheated on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you can sleep with them. I'm sleep with them. They like to be that's cheated right. on. <laughs> that's an open marriage. Sometimes you invite people in for three ways. Some people, that's an open marriage. But we have a God that is jealous, according to Exodus 34. He says, my name is jealous, which means that I don't want to play your side chick. I don't want to be your mistress. <laughs> I want to be the only one. I want to be your husband. Mm. Because Beyonce has, in her own right, shown us that she worships Oshun, Ogun. These are gods like of fertility. God, it's very clear about who these gods are. She's not private about them at all. Even the verse that she had about using the Bible pages to use as a tampon, that wasn't her verse. That was a poem written by a witch. <sighs> Absolutely. And so these Hold on, things, she said that in a song? Yes, in Lemonade. What? Absolutely. And so this is right in your uh. face. Nobody's paying attention to it. Nobody is... Like, it's right in your face. Not only that, what God showed me about the concert was that it was a portal. It's a gate. Like, these things are very demonic for the people that believe what I believe, which is the truth. I believe that my, my religion is the truth, right? I believe that there's only one way to God, and that's through Jesus Christ. And if, why, if you're begging God for money, like, people like to pray for money. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, get me out of poverty, God. <laughs> why, when you're praying for money, you're going to spend the money God gave you and spend it with somebody who hates your God? Hmm. What I was most disappointed in, it was how many Christian worshipers came against me. You know what they said? That's not love. I don't like how you said it. You could have said it differently. That's when I realized it wasn't my delivery that made people mad. It was the deliverance that it gave God's people. Mm. It was the breakthrough that it gave God's people. You weren't mad at how I said it because if there's a three-year-old running into the street, do you say, come on, sweetheart, get out of the street. We want to help you because that's love, depending on how perverted your version of love is. You say, come on, baby. Or when you see the baby and then you say, get out the street. Come on. Mm -hmm. And you run after them and yoke them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an act of love. Mm -hmm. Because what you did was you spared them from dying. Yeah. If somebody's house at three o'clock in the morning is burning, do you say, I don't want to scream loudly because I don't want to wake the people up in the burning house. Mm -hmm. That's not love. <laughs> so I'm going to whisper, hey, neighbors, get out the house. It's burning. Yeah. Or do you say, fire, fire, get out the house, everybody. One is considered love and one is considered abrasive. You're mean. You should have said it differently. Yeah. You scared them when you woke them up but one of them saved their life. I had that perspective when I do stuff like that online. You might not have the perspective that I'm saving somebody's life, but I understand that you're- <clears throat> Wow, mm. so I thought she did a great job on the podcast. Yeah, oh yeah, really, she did. Really, I watched really, the whole thing. Really yeah. explained herself. Um, she gets in a lot more, Ryan, mm -hmm. Ryan knew that. Mm -hmm. um, so what what do you think? I, I I was happy to know that she's you know she did talk about how it did mm -hmm. affect her in some ways oh, yeah, and she yeah. had to fast and pray yeah from some of the backlash. So I knew that was gonna happen because the Beyonce army is like very very yeah. out there. We've been affected mm -hmm. by it. yes. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm glad to see that mm -hmm. she's still you know sticking strong to what she said. And I think her clarifying that a, these I was talking to people who were walking with me. Course, yeah. I, I'm talking to them. I'm yeah. not just out here blasting it. These are people who should agree with me already, yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm just right. reinforcing something they should already believe. So mm -hmm. I thought she did a great job. What did y'all think? 
Um, I mean, honestly, I'm very much in agreement with her, and I think that she explained that extremely well. Yeah. Um, I think that, like, it should bother you if you call yourself a believer when you hear somebody who is blatantly disrespecting your beliefs. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that that becomes a, a matter of, like, checking your heart to say, why am I more offended by her saying that Beyonce is doing what Beyonce is doing than me actually thinking about, like, well, I mean, she did completely disrespect the Bible. Why doesn't that bother me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think she did a, a great job explaining that. I have a question for you, and this is just me playing advocate here. Um, I don't care one way or another. Um, is she playing character roles? Because I noticed that, you know, um, Jackie Hill Perry in her video uh, talking about Beyonce, she referenced all these different like outfits that mm-hmm. Beyonce's worn over the years and photo shoots and things like that where she's dressed up as these um you know uh goddesses and these you know mm-hmm. mythical characters is she playing a character to where one day we might actually hear her say I was just playing a character I'm not really like that like is it is this something that she's going to always remain quiet about or would there be a podcast one day where she's like listen this is what I believe this is that and the other okay so uh, th- I'm glad you asked that because I do think a lot of people. I didn't know this mm-hmm. stuff about Beyonce, right? Yeah, I don't. Also, don't care. I but <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't have known. Yeah. But um, I, okay. I didn't know that she was like literally, like promoting other gods, like yeah. like l- yeah. seriously doing it. It's not. Yeah. It's not like somebody inferred it from like an image and it's like, oh, that really means like, no. She's mm-hmm. outwardly yeah, saying it. this Oshun Oshun guy. Yeah, she's outwardly. Saying embodying it, yeah. It. yeah. Um, so, mm-hmm. if if people like Tiffany and and um, and uh, Jackie weren't talking about this, I don't know if people would even tune into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I do think she actually believes. I don't think she's playing a role. Mm. And if you were, mm-hmm. like, let's say you were a Christian, why would you play this role? Yeah. Like, yeah. why would yeah. you even want to be associated with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's the part that strikes me as odd. It's like you already, and this is bad. You already have the attention pretty much everybody in the world why you got to go extra and you know try to prove something if you aren't that way she definitely went on a um motherland kick as at some point where she started pulling a lot of like uh, african things oh, into, yeah, yeah, into yeah, her yeah. music especially when and, she did the lion king lion yeah lion king. and i think either some of that stuck or whatever but like ever since then she's been on it here's a question mm. what if she um I know at one time they were having problems getting pregnant, Mm -hmm. and maybe they went this route to try to get pregnant. So, yeah, because you know too much. All right, so (laughs) the Oshun or Oshun, um, do you guys know who, what that is, Mm -hmm. right? So um, Oshun is is in in Nigeria, there's there's the Yoruba uh, tribe. They believe in um, these things called Orishas. Yeah. Right? It's kind of like um, they believe in an alt supreme creator God, mm-hmm. and they believe that supreme creator God has like demigod yeah, type yeah, figures yeah, yeah, or yeah. angels type figures, right? Mm. So I'll talk about why that matters later. But this particular Orisha, um, Oshun, is they call the river God, mm-hmm. right? So whenever you see Beyonce in like a yellow or gold dress yeah. with like a crown and, and she's surrounded by water, that's what she's referring to mm-hmm. is this God. And the story behind this God is she had a she had a husband. There's a whole another story about that. <laughs> <laughs> she, she has another Orisha God husband who basically left her. Yeah. And so whenever you see Beyonce with like tears, like like painted on tears, yeah. it's because this this she's also the God of sorrow. Yeah. Um sorrow and Childbirth and just just yeah. plain old sorrow, yeah. right? So wow. she's pulling all those image, images, and um, she pulls it. The BLM Black yeah. Lives Matter yeah. ladies pull it. Mm. Where um, whenever you see eagles, because eagles are, are are a part of her imagery as well. Whenever you see gold, yellow, eagle wings, tears, water, they're referencing this guy. Yeah. So this is outward, blatant, in your face, not a mistake, and. This is serious. And to be honest with you, mm-hmm. Beyonce is probably not the only person doing this, too. It's other artists probably doing the exact they same thing. They usually sneak things yeah. in, but this yeah. is like, in, yeah. this is yeah. out there. Yeah. So, But if you don't know who Ashun is yeah. and the whole story about it, um, then you then you might not know. Yeah. yeah. You might not catch it. Yeah, you might not. So, But I also think that 
and the reason why you said that, and I think you just said fertility, fertility too. Mm-hmm. So, and um, maybe that's the reason why that letter to it. You know what I mean? That letter to that is because she was having problems with fertility issues. Because I think that's that's something that they were talking about back in the day, like you mm-hmm. know, before Blue Ivy happened. Yeah. yeah, I will say, yeah, definitely. Man, I don't even know if kids were in talks at the time when Beyonce had mentioned that, like, when she goes to perform, it's not her that's performing, but it's Sasha Fierce. Like, she's like, I'm not even there. There's something else that just takes over, and she is what performs. I feel like that, which was, I I feel like she had that interview probably, like, a decade ago or close to it. Like, why was that not a red flag for people, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Because I I think, honestly, too, um, I think people. I think here's the thing. I think when you get that high up in the the hierarchy of music, mm-hmm. it's like people are like they're not they're not looking at it from there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I think to to the thing, it's been time and time again when people have done exposés on her, mm-hmm. and it be like it comes out to be true, kind of like you were saying like with Sasha mm-hmm. Fierce and then every other stuff. And then I think it's because I realized this people's music has raised people and people's music have helped people. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like when we talked about the whole Jackie part, when she was saying, like, I got Beyonce's first Destiny Child's first CD when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So those memories Mm -hmm. and then those those times of when you were going through something and you probably yeah. played Survival or you were going through a breakup and you played um, um, Irreplaceable. You, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Certain songs have different right. meanings to different right. people. So I'm sure that when people hear that somebody that they truly quote unquote love is in dabbling into witchcraft because that's what really it is. Mm-hmm. It's really witchcraft. And I know people in the comments, some people are going to be like, y'all need to go back to the motherland to be with <laughs> Africa and all like that and stuff like mm-hmm. that because this was before Christianity. Um, but at the same time, the scriptures tell us to stay away from stuff like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's scary. So I mentioned earlier <clears throat> that the, in the Yoruba, uh, religion, they have a supreme creator God as well. And a lot of missionaries use that fact to try to uh, do kind of what Paul did. Remember when Paul entered the temple and then there was shrines to different gods and there was a shrine to, um, the unknown God. Yeah. Mm. He didn't come in here and say, tear this all down. What he did was he said, let me tell you about that one. Yeah. That one is the God of all gods. Mm. The one you don't know, let me tell you about him. Right. Yeah. And a lot of missionaries tried to use the fact that they had a similar structure mm-hmm. of a supreme God and, yeah. and angels and things like that to, to say, we're going to use your same structure and teach you what the truth is about the actual king of kings. Right. Yeah. Because it's, it's not that big of a leap from what you already think to what is the truth, right? The only the only problem with that, and I think this is where we're going to have a little bit of a, um, <clears throat> a issue, is that it's close, but it's not close enough. And the problem is what the missionaries did was they kept their same terms. You know, uh, that, that supreme god, his name is, um, what is it? It's... Uh, uh, Olun or something like that. Um, I can't. I can't remember what his name was. But they uh, Allah Dumer, right? So they kept instead of calling him like Jehovah or whatever, they wrote literature for them and they kept the old God's name as mm. the Jehovah God, right? Uh-huh. So they tried to cater to what they believed in order to make it easier of a transition for them. So there's some positives and negatives to that. Obviously, we. Say Paul's use of uh, translating what is familiar to teach them the truth was a good example. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This could possibly be a bad example of where you go too far, when you make too many concessions to somebody's, you know, where they're coming from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you twist the gospel so much that you lose its effectiveness. And I think a lot that happens a lot in our culture where people, they, they try to make it so a Healing for the people they're talking to yeah. mm-hmm. that they allow for too much foolishness in the gospel yeah. added on. And I think that's where Beyonce represents. A lot of Christians see her as a Christian. Yeah. When to me she's screaming that she's not. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we allow for people like Beyonce in our worldviews as being okay when they're really like toxic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cancers. Mm-hmm. So you really have to to evaluate your life. What are you allowing? Whether it's Beyonce's music or whatever, what doesn't fit? Yeah, 
You see what I'm saying? Don't make don't yeah. make concessions for too many things because then you'll start not, then it not then it becomes not the thing. But you here's the but here's the question, and mm-hmm. and I think this is kind of like what we talked about being with kind of the previous video on like some Beyonce Christianity stuff. It's like so <clears throat> does does she make Christian girls that song? Does she make that song without seeing that? Without seeing what? Christian women, but without her growing up, seeing Christian women yeah. in church shouting on Sunday and then during the week being, oh, like, yeah. quote yeah. unquote. You know what I'm saying? That so that, so I, I, I guess the question is, was she influenced like that? Or is it that is it that people are influenced by her? You I gotta, know what I'm saying? I got to say something. And this is why I always so confused by this topic whenever it comes up. As far as I know, we always say, like, Beyonce, we always talk about her like she used to be a Christian. Yeah. She was. <laughs> you don't think mm-hmm. she was never a Christian. Never a Christian. <laughs> as far as I know, like, we got to stop calling Jehovah's Witnesses Christians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I was told she was. Was it Jehovah's Witness? Oh, was it? That's I what I I've never heard that. I've heard that that's she was. That's what I was she told. She grew up yeah, in, like, a either. church. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. somebody clarify, but that's what I heard. So mm-hmm. that we got we got to be careful when we're we're including too many people in what we call Christians. Yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, and they, yeah, they're not Christians. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think she grew up in like, I, 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 she grew up in a church church. Like it wasn't like Jehovah's Kingdom Witnesses. And it wasn't okay. Like somebody, that somebody, mm-hmm. I, I I don't feel like I made that up. Somebody help me. Are, are is was Beyonce ever claiming to be a Christian? Not any, not any like um, carve off cult, <laughs> but a, a Christian. I hope I'm not. I hope this is not news for anybody. You, you but do wait, know wait, but you know why? Cults. Because back in the day, remember mm-hmm. we grew up in the '90s when the R&B artists would do a song, and that the last song would be that gospel song. Yeah. So I think a lot of people probably thought that about her because so many Destiny Childs albums had that at the end of all those albums was like mm-hmm. a gospel mm-hmm. medley. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So they're thinking like, oh, she's a believer. Okay, so this is another thing. and We were going to uh, add this um, to our lineup where we, we hear Beyonce praying to Father, Mother, God. Yeah. Right? Not every... People could sound just like Christians that are completely not Christians. Yeah. They, they, can, they pray. They talk to God. They may even reference Jesus. Yeah. But they actually believe something totally different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and it's not like they they um, don't realize they believe something different. They know they don't believe the mm-hmm. same thing, but they it's so close that they can hide amongst us. Mm-hmm. That's what I feel is going on here. But it's almost like Kendrick, yes. kind of like Kendrick, where yes. it's like yes. yeah, when you when you hear stuff, you're saying Savior this or you're saying different things, and it sounds like Jesus, but it's more New Ageism. Yeah, it's and you. I think and I yeah. think that's what people don't understand about. New ageism. New ageism is basically I'm taking this, I'm taking that, I'm taking that, I'm taking that, and we all good. It's all one. We all spiritual. Spiritual, mm-hmm. I think, is a a, mm-hmm. a good word yeah. for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I I don't know what to do with this. I I again, if I was talking to Beyonce, it would be different. But Beyonce kind of represents something now. So yeah. we're kind of talking to the yeah. idol of Beyonce, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. The actual person, I would be like, what's, what's up with you? What are you, what are you doing? You yeah. know? Like, I would talk yeah. to more, like, hopeful. Yeah. Like, maybe you could this can uh-huh. turn around. And and honestly, and, I, and I'll be real, it's been times when I've seen interviews with people who interviewed her that were believers that came off kind of harsh on her, like, were pressing her in, like, in, like, early, mm-hmm. early days, mm-hmm. like, like when she was doing Fight of Temptation, I've seen an mm-hmm. interview like at that time when people were going kind of like a cat was going hard on on her um, about that and like, yo, are you a Christian or you this or that? like wait, like going in, and um, sometimes that could come off like, man, that, that, I can't deal with this no more. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. at the same time, it's like you even if you're getting offended by people, you still don't have to like like disrespect. What you know is true. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. So and I and I and I just think, man, it's 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 a lot of people dabbing in this because, especially a lot of black people are dabbling into this because it's almost going back to Africa. Like yeah. I said, it's almost the yeah. same thing what we talked about with our Black Panther one when we talked about when um when um when Pastor Bell was here and we talked about that um, talking to the ancestors. It, it has that same type yeah. of feel. You're to trying it. to mix. You're, you're trying to pay homage to where you came from. Yeah, and you know everybody's afraid of like buying into like white man's religion. Yeah, 
Um, but you don't realize that God is supreme to white, black, all of those things. Mm-hmm. Like, don't get caught up in that. Get, go back to the truth. The truth existed before white man's religion. The truth existed mm-hmm. before all of these debates. It was always the truth, right? Yeah. So go back to the truth and then work your way out from there. Don't try to mix in other things just because you're trying to pay homage to other people in your family that aren't here anymore. Yeah. All right. Let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Yeah. 